Here we go, my friend. Here we go. Today, the topic is the rapture. The rapture reality. The snatching away of the church of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the rapture, we will be caught away with the saints who are dead and coming back with Jesus Christ to take us back to home. Here, in the Gospel of John, chapter 14, Jesus Christ give us the glimpse of the rapture. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive unto myself that where I am, there ye may be also. Let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Listen carefully, please. This is Christianity. This is Christ one. Unlike any other religion, we have the Savior, the Messiah, the, the Messiah of the Old Covenant, and the Christ of the New Covenant. Look what Paul, the beloved Paul, tell us. Now, anytime, anytime I read any epistle of our beloved Paul, I must sit down in silence five minutes, think about this man, Paul of Tarsus, Saul of Tarsus. Who was Saul? His name was Saul of Tarsus. He knew three languages, Aramaic, Hebrew, and Greek. He was belong to three culture, Greek, Hebrew, and Roman. He was educated under the, one of the well-known rabbis by the name of Gamaliel. He was the Pharisee of the Pharisees. He was the Hebrew. He was what? Brother, he was unspotted. He was unspotted according to the law. He was self-righteous according to the law of Moses. But this man, from the greatest of persecutor of the church of the living God, he became the greatest proclaimer of the gospel of Jesus Christ. On the way to Damascus, he had this vision. And the voice said, Soul, soul, why art thou persecute me? He said, Who are you, Lord? He said, I'm Jesus of Nazareth, whom thou persecute me. It is hard for thee, Paul, soul, it's hard for thee to kick against the pricks. Here we go. Here we go. So God, God used him from the greatest persecutor of the church of the living God. He became the greatest proclaimer of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Look what he said in Corinthians chapter 15 from verse 39. Look what he says. He says, all flesh is not the same flesh, but there is one kind of flesh of man, and it's the flesh of beasts, and it's the fishes, and it's the birds. There is also celestial bodies, and bodies terrestrial, but the glory of the celestial is one, and the glory of the terrestrial is another. There is one glory of the sun, and then it's the glory of the moon, and then it's the glory of the stars. For one star differs from another star in glory, so also is the resurrection of the dead. Listen, it is sown in corruption, it is raised in incorruption, it is sown in dishonor, it is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness, it is sown in weakness, it is raised in power. It is sown a natural body. It is raised. I bless you. I bless you in the name of Jesus. Habibi. Habibi. Ustaz. Habibi. Let's come back to the word of God. It's very hard to preach the gospel among the people who are mocking you, bro. Pray for these people in silence. Just pray that God will give them wisdom and knowledge and understanding. So here, my friend, it says, there is one glory of the sun and another the glory of the moon. And as the glory of the star, for one star differs from another star in glory, so also is the resurrection of the dead. It is sown in corruption. It is raised in, corrupt, in, in corruption. 
It is raised it is sown in dishonor. It is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. It is raised in power. It is sown a natural body. It is raised a spiritual body. So it is a natural body and so it is a spiritual body. And so it is written. The first man, Adam, was made a living soul. The last Adam was made a quickening spirit. How be it? That was not first which is spiritual, but that which is natural. And afterward, that which is spiritual. The first man is of the earth's earthy. The second man is the Lord from heaven. As is the earthy, such are say also that are earthy. And as the heavenly, such are say also that are heavenly. And as and as we have borne the image of the earthy, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly. If you love Jesus, don't touch me. If you, love Jesus don't touch me. you will stand with the Palestinian Christians who are being murdered. At this you, you are the one killing them. Support the Palestinian Christians. Support the Palestinian Christians. As is the earthy, such are say also that are earthy. And as is the heavenly, such are say also that are heavenly. As we have borne the image of the earthy, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly. Now, the image of God was marred or ruined, destroyed by Adam. The last Adam, Jesus Christ, he restored that broken image. Here we go, my friend. We pray for this Muslim in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father God. We are commanded by our Lord Jesus Christ, brother. He said, bless them who persecute you. Bless, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good them that hate you, and pray for them that despitefully use you and persecute you, that you may be the children of your father. Therefore, these Muslim people, my friend, they are innocent. There's a spirit behind them. Therefore, we bow down before the Almighty God, Jesus Christ, that these people will live 120 years, that they will not die in a state of unbelief, that they may come to the knowledge of truth. We bless Muslim, not only this ordinary Muslim, but we bless Ali Dawa, we bless Shamsi, we bless Muhammad. Hijab, we bless Mansur, we bless Osman, we pray that our God, the God of all flesh, will open the eyes of the understanding and they know the truth and we bless them and we love them in Jesus' mighty name. When they mock you, my friend, bless them in the name of Jesus. Because they are innocent, they don't know the truth. We have the truth. Jesus Christ said, I am not my teaching, nor even the church. The gospel created the church. The church didn't create the gospel, my friend. Wake up to reality. Jesus Christ is the reality. He said, I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. Therefore, my friend, he says, and as we are born in the image of the earthy, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly sir, Adam, he marred, he ruined, he destroyed the image of God. But the last man, Adam, Jesus Christ, the last Adam, the last man, Jesus Christ, he restored that broken image. Now you and I, if you believe in Yeshua al-Masih, you and I have been reconciled to God. You and I have been made righteous before God. Our sin, I bless you in the name of you. I just pray for you. I just pray for you, young man. He's innocent, man. Please bless him. Yeah, do not, please do not mock him. Yeah. Just bless him in the name of Jesus. Yes. Bless him in the name of Jesus. Bless you see, the they are listening, Jesus. sister. Please don't mock them. They are listening. Yes, yes. Teach them the gospel. Give them the gospel. Yes. Invite them. Go talk to her gently and in love. Tell her about Surah Nisa, chapter 4, verse 34. Please. Because the Muslim women, they are our sisters. The Muslim men, they are our brothers in humanity. We are commanded by Jesus Christ to love these people, to bless them in the name of Jesus Christ. Because Jesus Christ said in a day of judgment, I gave you knowledge, I gave you wisdom, I gave you my word. Why you are not patient with my daughter? Because she is matter to God as much as you are matter to God. You are matter to God as much as I am matter to God. He wants to have a personal relationship with you through his son Jesus Christ. Loves him, loves him, loves him. They are innocent. We have the truth. 
we have the truth, they don't have the truth. Therefore, my friend, he says, now since brethren, the flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Now he said, oh, oh, I love you. Let me hug you, man. I bless you. And I'm a habak. Ya aini, ya galbi, ya ruhi, and I'm a habak. You see? Sorry? Brother, it's not me. If, if it's me, it's bro. Bro, bro, trust me. I am, I am like Moses. I have a temper. I am suffering from anger, bro. I suffer from anger. It's only Jesus Christ tame me. It's only Jesus Christ make me who I am. I am just worse than you, man. I'm a sinful man. I always say, oh God, be merciful to me, a sinner. My sin, oh God, my sin is innumerable as the sand of the sea, as the flower of the field, and as the star of the sky. I haven't killed anybody. I haven't raped anybody. I haven't stolen from anybody. But because of my bad sword, I must humble myself before God. And like the public and watch the temple say, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. When was the last time you cried, sir? When was the last time you cried? When was the last time you prayed for the Maya of London, Sadi Khan? When was the last time you prayed for the Prime Minister? When was, I, I, let me hug you. When was the last time you prayed for Charles the Son, man? We are commanded to pray for this man that he will not die out of this cancer, that Jesus Christ will heal him and he will be pro Christ and bring this country once more to Christianity, to the principle of the Christian living, sister. Bless them. Don't mock the prophet. No, no, no. He's dead. He's gone. He's finished. We don't talk about dead. The devil have... We have... expose the devil. I know. But please, expose please. Shaitan. You are forcing me to tell you on the camera, stop mocking their leader. Stop mocking their dead leader. I'm not mocking. Yes, you do. Please don't do it, sister, anymore. No. Preach the gospel, please. Tell them about Jesus. I'm going to expose the devil. G gently, in love, yeah. in respect. In love. You can't talk about that. Muhammad in I a way that, that you're going to touch the heart and the mind of the Christian woman, sorry, a Muslim woman and a Muslim man. Now, let's come back to the word of God. Now, since I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Now, it's that, that's corruption, inherit corruption. Then he said, behold, behold is a command, it's the imperative. Behold, I show you a mystery. The rapture is a mystery, man. We've got many mystery, unlock it mystery in the Bible. The mystery of the cross, the mystery of the Godhead, the mystery of the Gentile, the mystery of the Jew, the mystery of the church, the mystery of the rapture. It's a mystery, sir. Are you rapture reality? Are you a Christian? Are you born again believer, sir? Then you must be Christ Calvary cross conscious center you and i must be rapture reality my friend do what he said behold i show you a mystery we shall not all sleep but we shall all be changed what in a moment in a twinkling of an eye at the last trump for the trumpet shall sound and so there shall be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed you right bro and we shall be change. Look what he said. In a moment. Now the Bible does not say that. But let me tell you something. That is my understanding of the cross. That's my understanding of a God man died on the cross. On that cross, the moment he said it. Oh, I love you. And I'm a Bro, at that cross, the moment Jesus Christ said it is finished. And to thy hand. I commit my spirit. That was his rapture from the cross. That was his rapture from the cross. And when he was rose up again on the third day in a tomb, it was his rapture among the dead. Are you so bad that your wife left you for an Arab? God bless you. Oh, bro, I bless you in the name of Jesus and I love you. Jesus doesn't love you, bro. Can I hug you? Can I hug you, bro? Jesus doesn't love you. Can I hug you? Jesus doesn't love you. Well, Jesus loves me, I know. He doesn't love you. The Bible said. Jesus loved me for this, I know. For, I know. Jesus loved me for this, I know. For the Bible says so. Let's come back to the message. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep. Bro, I love you, bro. I can't die for you. 
Bro, I, ca I pray for the peace of Jerusalem of and I pray for the peace of Gaza. Are you a child of Israel? I pray for the peace of Gaza. Are you a child of Israel? But unless Jerusalem has peace. Liar. No, I'm not lying, bro. Not lying. No, I'm not. Please don't say I'm a liar. Please don't say I'm a liar. You don't know me, sir. Bro, bro, you don't know me. Bro, you don't know me. I never met you. I never met you. Why you call me liar? I never call you a liar. Why you call me a liar? I never met you. I do, I do support in prayer, yeah, in prayer, in prayer, yeah, in prayer. I pray for the peace of Jerusalem. I pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Look what he said. For behold, I see you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. How? In a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, in a last trump, for the last trump shall sound and the dead shall be incorruptible and we shall be changed for this corruptible must put on incorruption and this mortal must put on immortality so when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption and this mortal shall have put on immortality then shall be brought to part the saying that is written death is swallowed up in victory oh death where is thy sting oh grave where is thy victory the sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which gave us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Then what he said, look, what he says, listen. Therefore, my beloved brethren, therefore, that's the command. Therefore, henceforth, wherefore, it is the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast and movable always abounding is the work of the lord for as much as you know that your work that your labor is not in vain in the lord jesus christ let's go to the last part of the rapture which is in first thessalonians according to our beloved paul again once more in a book of thessalonians first thessalonians it gave us the glimpses of the rapture i'm going to step down with this because my voice is gone but let's go there. In First Thessalonians. Now, brethren, please understand those who are listening. The rapture and the second coming are two different events. They are not the same. The rapture is timeless and signless. There is no warning for the rapture according to the Bible. Therefore, we must be rapture reality. We must remain faithful in an ungodly society, we must remain righteous in a wicked and sinful generation that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Look what he says. In First Thessalonians chapter 4 from verse 13. It's only five verses. I'm going to step down soon, I promise. I don't want my video to be long because people will get bored, but nobody can get bored with the word of God. It's not about me. It's not my life. It's God's life. It's my, not my ministry. It's not our ministry, bro. It is God's ministry. We have the ministry of Jesus Christ. We have no whatsoever any ministry here on earth apart from Jesus Christ. Look what he said. But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren. Listen. But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that you sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. Do not sorrow, do not cry, do not weep for the dead, do not put mark on your body for the dead, because those who are dying in Christ, they are in a deep sleep, they're going to be wake up, God is going to wake them up, and they're going to be with Christ in the air, we're going to meet them, look what he said, don't be like the unbeliever, don't be like the world, they cry, they weep, they beat their body, they mark their body for the dead, do not worry about the dead, as so even as the uh, assets which have no hope. Sir, are you a Christian, sir? God bless you. The Bible tells us, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to the abundant mercy has begotten us again and to a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. We, I, I, care. I care. You're a matter to God. You're a matter to God. I love you. You're a matter to God, man. 